So the next amazing extension on the list is something called Profile Builder, which um, is a really useful tool for making um, worktops, cornice, pelmet, um, upstands, tiles, all sorts of things. So it's available again from uh, the SketchUp warehouse from Mindsight Studios. It is a paid extension, but you can get um, 30 days free trial with it which is is worth to do but it's worth the money if you're serious about um about what you do in sketchup so here you can see the toolbar i'm not going to go into too much detail on what every single thing does i'm just going to show you uh, how i use it in this video just to keep it brief so we're just going to use this first little button now which is the profile dialog if you click on the little magnifying glass or the search uh, search glass um, and this little sort of present uh, box you can see all the standard profiles which are included in the plugin so as a quick demo of how it works um, let's say we choose this crown molding here um, and then just move these out of the way and then this little button at the bottom left which uh, is the build button click it once and then you just literally um, click in each corner or at each point that you want to um, add the profile so it works like the SketchUp um, native follow me tool, but it's just much quicker and easier. So just press space to exit. And there you can see we've got a nice um, crown molding on the ceiling there. Um, but I'm just going to delete that because we don't want it in this particular model. Another really useful feature is you can make your own bespoke moldings. So you can either make them yourself or import them from the 3D warehouse or, or wherever as 2D models and use them as the basis to make whatever you want. So just to demonstrate that, let's uh, let's make a quick cornice uh, profile. I'll just start off by making a rectangle, and then I'm going to use the uh, the line tool and the arc tool just to make a quick random cornice. There's the arc tool. Click once there, once there. Yep, something like that. That'll do. Doesn't have to be anything perfect for now. So just click on the face, make sure that's highlighted, and then go to our box and press this little plus button here. Then we'll give it a name, we'll call it Cornice One, press OK. And then the next thing uh, we'll do is set the anchor point. So you can see this little red dot, and that is where it will anchor to, uh, where you set your points in the model. So we don't want it in the center, we want it on the bottom right here. So we'll click the bottom right. Um, and then I want to flip it round. It's just, I prefer to work clockwise and it works better that way. So let's go back to our 3D scene and we're going to put this on top of all of the wall cabinets and the tall cabinets. So again, to place it in our model, just click this little button here, the build button, and then we just set the points that we want it to align to. And there we go. So let's carry that round uh, onto this run. So we click our build button and just click the points where we want to set the intersections. And then space bar to get out of it. And then we've got a cornice on this side as well. And then of course, you can um, change it to the same color, however you want. Do the same to that one. And it's a really quick, effective way uh, to make these sort of trims and moldings. And it's uh, much quicker than using the follow me tool. And one thing I really like to use it for is actually to make worktops. Uh, just again, saves a lot of time faffing about. So. I've got a saved uh, worktop profile, just 20 mil. So all you do, you just click on the endpoints, click in the corner, and it will even make like a, a mitre joint for you if you want it. So we've got a nice looking uh, worktop there. Um, you will have to make a sink cut out unless you've got some special cut face component for your sink, but that's easy enough to do. Just use the push-pull tool to push it back a bit. 
And you can also do an upstand. Let's pop that into the model. Uh, oops, click on the build button and just click on the corners. There you go. And it's the same if you want to do some tiling, you want to put a plinth on, um, so many things you can use it for. So yeah, great extension, saves me so much time.